Hello, good morning to everybody. Hello. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Okay. In the previous class, we were discussing about the classifications of signals in both continuous and discrete. That is E1 and OR signals. Okay. Uh, given the definition of E1 and OR signals and its mathematical expressions and decomposition of the signal in the E1 and OR components. One example also to solve. Next, so the next class of uh, signal is periodic and non periodic signals. See? Periodic and non periodic signals. What do you mean by periodicity? Periodicity means if any signal repeats the same pattern, we we'll call such signal as a periodic signal. For example, when you take a sinusoidal signal, what is there in the range of 0 to 2 pi? 0 to pi will be behind the positive cycle and pi to 2 pi will be behind the negative cycle. Same pattern repeats. 2 pi to 4 pi, 4 pi to 6 pi, like that. Such signals we call as an periodic signals. Any signal is certainly periodic if the same pattern of signal repeats. What is there? What is there in that short duration? Please mute your microphone. Now, mathematically, we can write that any continuous time signal, x of t, is set to be periodic if it satisfies the transition called that is x of t equals to x of t plus capital T. Any continuous time signal is set to be periodic if it satisfies the condition called x of t is equal to x of t plus capital T. What is capital T here? Where, where capital T is the fundamental period. Red capital T is the red capital T is the fundamental period. What is that fundamental period? Fundamental period means it is the smallest duration. After that, signal repeats. We will call such pattern as a periodic signal. Okay. Capital T is the fundamental period. It is the smallest duration. After that small duration, the same pattern of signal repeats. Example here is, example for a periodic signal here is, suppose we take a signal, This is called D. This is one, this is zero. This is X of D. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight. We'll call this signal as a periodic signal. What is the pattern it keeps here? Zero to two. Signal is in a triangular shape. At a 0 to 1, it is linearly increases. 1 to 2, it linearly decreases. Same pattern is there from 2 to 4. Okay, again, same pattern is there from 4 to 6. That means, what is the fundamental period here? Fundamental period is, in this case, signal what is there in this range. 0 to 2, same pattern of the signal repeats. Same pattern of the signal repeats. We'll call that so that period as a fundamental period. And here in this case, we take t is equal to two seconds. A t is equal to two seconds. Now you can check with this mathematical equation that is x of t is equal to you have x fundamental period is two, that is t plus two. X of t is equal to x of t plus two. Now Suppose we can take any number as when t is 1, 
you know, that's x of 1 is equal to x of 3. See, x of 1 value is 1, x of 3 value is also 1. Suppose if I take when t is 2, x of 2 must be same as x of 4. As x of 2 value is 0, x of 4 value is also 0. Okay. That means it is satisfying the mathematical expression what I given for the periodicity. That is, x of t is equal to x of t plus f t. Similarly, in case of discrete, you can say that any signal is said to be periodic. If it is satisfied the condition for x of n is equal to x of n plus capital N. x of n plus capital N, where capital N is the fundamental term. And similarly, we can give a definition for non periodicity here, here itself. Any signal is set to be non periodic if it does not satisfy this condition. x of t, if it is not equal to x of t plus capital T, then we we'll call such signals as a non periodic signal. Once again, the pre periodic signal, any continuous time signal x of t is set to be periodic if it satisfies the condition called x of t is equal to x of t plus capital T. This is an example for the periodic signal. Where capital T is the fundamental period. If signal does not satisfy this condition, x of t is equal to x of t plus capital T. Capital T. If this condition does not satisfy, then we call such signal as a non-periodic signal. That is, for an example of a non-periodic signal is suppose if the signal is there like this: okay. 0 to 1, 2, that is, this value of 1. This is the x of t and this is the b. Okay. So here there is no any repetition of any pattern here. Here there is no any repetition of any pattern. We'll call such signals as a call such signals as a non-periodic signal. Here there is no fundamental period because what is there in the 0 to 2 range that is not repeated. Okay. We'll call such signals as a non-periodic signal. Now, similarly, in case of discrete value of R, any signal is any discrete time signal is said to be periodic if it satisfies the condition called x of n is equal to x of n plus capital N. That is where n is the fundamental period, where n is the again important term, fundamental period. Okay. Example for this. Discrete time to load signal is shall I erase the board? Shall I erase the board? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. X of n is equal to x of n plus capital N, where n is the fundamental, where n is the fundamental period. Now, example for this is. One, two, three, four, zero, one, nine, one, two, three, 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 zero. Next, you have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This is n one. See, we'll call this as a periodic because see how the pattern repeats here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <coughs> no. Four samples. What you have here is that is repeating. That is x of n is x of 
What is the fundamental period in this case? What is the fundamental period? Hello? Hello? What is the fundamental period? Hello? Hello? Lavanya? Lavanya? Kalpana? Yes. Uh, what is the fundamental period in this case? What is the fundamental period? What is the n value, capital N value? How many samples are repeating here? How many samples are repeating? Four. Huh? Sir. How many samples are repeating? What pattern is repeating here? Four, sir. One to four. Four. Here, there is number of samples are that one, two, three, four. These four samples are repeating here. That's why we take the fundamental period as four. We take the fundamental period as four. Now, if you want to check with the mathematical expression, that is x of n is equal to x of x of n plus 4. And n is 1. What you have know, that is x of 1 is equal to 1 plus 4 is that is 5. x of 1 is equal to that is x of 1 value is 2. x of 5 value is also 2. You can take x of 3. x of 3 is equal to x of 7. x of 3 value is 4, x of 7 value is also 4. That means you can say that this is a periodic signal. It is satisfying the condition for x of n is equal to x of n plus fundamental period that is equal to n. Okay. Is it clear? Is it clear? Hello? Yes. yes. Now, yes, when sir. the condition does not satisfy us, we will call such signals are then non-periodic signals. Any signal is said to be, any signal is said to be non-periodic. If it does not satisfy the condition, x of n is equal to x of n plus capital N. That is, example for non, example for non-periodic it is, example for non-periodic signals is, suppose we have a signal that is, One, two, three, zero, one, two. This is the end. This is the x of n. That means what will have it? You have samples one, two, three. See, only three samples are there in this signal. There is no repetition of any samples or any pattern here. That's why we'll call such signals as a non-periodic signals. Okay, definitions of periodic and non-periodic are very, very important here. Okay. In case of continuous, any continuous term is said to be periodic if it satisfies the condition called x of t is equal to x of t plus capital T. If it, this condition does not satisfy for it as a non periodic, similarly, in case of discrete, any discrete term is said to be periodic if it satisfies the condition called x of n is equal to x of n plus capital N. If the, this condition does not satisfy, we call such signals as a non periodic signals. Okay. Over? Shall I raise the board? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Now, next job is how to find the periodicity of a signal and say it's a periodicity. Okay? To find the periodic step system, to find the periodic step system, with a single signal, 
Suppose the pattern x of t is equal to cross of y by t. Assume that this is one signal. This is a cross signal, cross or sign or anything. Cross of y by t. One example. Second one is and x of t is equal to sign of root 2 pi into t. Root 2 pi into t. Okay. When you have this type of signals, when signals are not representing graphically, then there's another method of finding out whether it's periodic or not periodic. If you say it's a periodic, you should find out its fundamental period. If you say it is a non-periodic, then you don't need to find out its fundamental period. Okay. Now if you have a signal we have that x of t is equal to cos of pi, pi t. That is, first step I should say that this is periodic and non periodic. Which is in the form of x of t is equal to cos of omega t. Because we know that how cos and sin signature. Cos of omega t, where omega is the 2 pi of t. Okay? When you compare this with the cos of pi t, omega you become that is pi pi. Omega is the pi pi. What is omega here? That is 2 pi f is equal to pi pi. Then it is 2 pi pi. F is nothing but 1 by t. Frequency is equal to 1 by something. And that is, that is 2 pi by t. That is equal to pi pi. t is equal to pi pi get cancels. Here it will come. That is 2 pi pi. If this fundamental period. 2 by 5 what we got. If it is a rational number, if it is a rational, you know what is a rational number? What is a rational number? Can anybody give the answer? What is the what is the definition of rational number? Forms. Hello? Which Hello? is in P by Q forms. It's in the form of P by Q. P by Q where Q is not equal to zero, when both P and Q must be integers. Is it right? Hello. Yes, now, if that fundamental period were to find from the given signal, which is expressed in terms of trigonometric functions, if that fundamental period is a rational number, then we can say that signal is periodic. Okay. Now, 2 by 5 is it a rational number or not? 2 by 5 is it rational or irrational number? Rational, sir. It is a rational, rational. number. Rational. Hence, the signal is said to be periodic. Since the, two, since the fundamental period is a rational number, since t is a rational number, since t is a rational number, t is a rational number, that is x of t is, is said to be, said to be periodic, is said to be periodic. We can take a second case. In the second example, what is omega here? Omega is equal to root 2 pi. Omega is equal to root 2 pi. That is omega is that is 2 pi f is equal to root 2 into pi. That is 2 pi by t is equal to root 2 into pi. Where t is equal to this is get cancelled. That is 2 by root 2. Answer it will become root 2 by 1. Root 2 by 1, what is the fundamental period you have got here? What is the fundamental period you have got? Hello? What is the fundamental period you have got? Hello? Hello? What is the fundamental period you have here? T, capital T. Root 2. Root 2. Is it rational or irrational number? Rational. Is, is it rational number or irrational number? Root 2 by 1. Is it rational number or irrational number? Hello? Lavanya. Sir. Root 2. Is it rational number or irrational number? Irrational. It is irrational number. 
and this is still said to be not periodic. Since the T is an irrational number, okay, since here we write, since capital T is an irrational number, is a is an irrational number. So since capital T is an irrational number, that is x of t is said to be is non periodic is non is non periodic signal is non periodic signal understood how to find a periodicity of a signal and how to check its periodicity and how to get its period fundamental period is it clear hello yes sir yes now here you have individual signals that you are able to find. So in some cases, signal is a composition of more than one signal. Suppose find that is x of t is equal to you have cos of phi phi t plus sine of 3 pi t plus plus cos of 6 pi okay. if you like to keep that one example is cos of Suppose it has something like this. Examples are say x1 of p, x2 of p, plus x3 of p. Assume that a half three signals. x1 of p plus x2 of p. Next, I do the example. x1 of p plus x2 of p, x of p, x3 of p. x of p is a combination of three signals x1, x2, and x3. In such case, I should check that. That is the given x of p is it periodic or non periodic. If it is periodic, we should find its fundamental period. In such case, what we should do is the procedure is there that is, that is to find its periodicity. Step number one find the fundamental period of individual signals. Find the fundamental period of individual signals. Suppose you have x1 of p, you have x1 of p. I take its fundamental period as P1. Next, we have another signal, X2 of P, its fundamental period is P. Next, we have another signal, X3 of P, its fundamental period is P. Assume that we have taken that. Okay. What I did is, I have taken the individual signals, I have found its fundamental period. Fundamental period of X1 of P is T1. Fundamental period of X2 of P is T2. Fundamental period of x3 of p is p3. This is step number one. Next, step number two. What we should do is find the ratios. That is, find the ratios. p1 by p2 and p1 by p3. p1 is constant. In the numerator, in the every ratio. Okay, that is T1 by T2 first ratio, T1 by T3 is second ratio. Suppose we have a fourth signal, T1 by T4, you need to calculate. If these ratios, T1 by T2 and T1 by T3, if these ratios are rational numbers, if these ratios are rational numbers, then the given signal X of T is set to be periodic. Okay. If the ratios are rational numbers, if ratios are rational numbers, if ratios are rational numbers, then x of t is said to be, then x of t is said to be periodic. If any one of them is irrational number, then signal is said to be non-periodic. 
then symbol is said to be non periodic okay next once you, once you say that it is periodic if it is periodic next step number 3 is you should find out its fundamental period that is step number 2 is finding the fundamental period in step number 3 to find the fundamental period of x of t first step what we should do is find the lcm of denominators of the ratio find the lcm of denominators of the ratios ratios of t2 and t3 okay that is the uh, ratios of t1 by t2 and t1 by t3 denominators are t2 and t3 find out the lcm let us take this lcm as l Let us take this lcm value is l then the fundamental period is capital t is equal to t1 into l this is the fundamental period of one signal we okay, once again I'll repeat the steps here once again I'll repeat the steps if the signal is a composition of more than one signal if signal is a composition of more than one signal then what we should do step number 1 calculate the fundamental periods of individual signals calculate the fundamental period of individual signals t1 t2 and t3 okay if signal is composition of three signal x1 x2 x3 find the fundamental period of x1 of t find the fundamental period of x2 of t find the fundamental period of x3 of t that is t1 t2 t3 we need to calculate that is step number 1 in step number 2 what we should do find the ratios ratios are t1 by t2 keep the t1 as constant in the numerator t1 by t2 t1 by t3 okay if these ratios are rational numbers if these ratios are rational numbers and so given signal is said to be as a given signal is said to be periodic if one of these ratios is irrational number then the given signal is said to be non periodic if you say it is a non periodic then you don't need to go for step number 3 because you, you cannot find the fundamental period suppose if you say that it is a periodic then you should find out its fundamental period to find the fundamental period what we do there is first in step number 3 get the lcm of T two and T three get the LCM of T two and T that is denominator of the ratios T two and T three. Let us take that value as L. Fundamental period is given by T one. Fundamental period of the first signal T one into L that gives the fundamental period of the X of T. Is it clear? Hello. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Okay. Shall I raise the board now? Yes, Now, example here is I'll take X of P is equal to cos of seven pi t plus sine of three pi t plus cos square of four pi t. Okay. Or you can take as cos minus. After that, we will take as square plus. Now, how many signals are there? We have three signals here. That is, I'll take this as an x1 of t. I'll take this as an x2 of t. I'll take this one as an x3 of t. Okay. Now, what is x1 of t here? X1 of step number one. X1 of t is equal to you have cos of seven pi t. Okay, what is its fundamental period? That is, you can take it. Omega one is equal to seven pi. That is, two pi f one is equal to seven pi. Then two pi by t one is equal to seven pi. That is, t one is equal to how? That is two by seven. T one is equal to two by seven. Similarly, how that is? X two of t is equal to 
sine of 3 pi t that is omega 2 is equal to 3 pi that is 2 pi f2 is equal to 3 pi that is 2 pi by t2 is equal to 3 pi then you have t2 is equal to 2 by 3. Similarly, from x3 of t, x3 of t is equal to how cos of 4 pi t, here omega 3 is equal to 4 pi, that is 2 pi f3 is equal to 4 pi, that is 2 pi by t3 is equal to 4 pi, then t3 is equal to pi by get cancelled, 2 under 2 t, the answer is, is 1 by 2. What about t1? D2 and D3. Then you go for the step number two. Find the ratios. Ratios are that is T1 by T2. What is T1 that is? You have 2 by 7. T2 value is you have 2 by 3. Answer is what our answer we get? It will become 3 by 7. 2 to get tangents. In the next next ratio here it is that is t1 by t3. t1 is 2 by 7, t3 is that is 1 by 2. The answer is we have 4 by 7. Is it right? Ratios calculations. Is it right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, Signal is periodic or non periodic now? Periodic. Periodic or non periodic? Periodic. periodic. Why it is periodic? Because both the ratios are rational numbers. Rational numbers. Rational numbers. Okay. Since, since the ratios are ratios are rational numbers, rational numbers. The signal x of t, signal x of t is periodic. The signal x of t is, the signal x of t is periodic. If it is a periodic, then you should find out its fundamental. Okay. Now, step number three. To so find the fundamental period, what I should take? I should take the LCM of the denominators of the region. That is LCM of T2 comma T3. That is LCM of T2 values. Denominators of the ratio T1 by T2 is T by 7. 7 is denominator. Here T1 by T3 is 4 by 7. Denominators. What is LCM of 7 and 7? Seven comma seven is seven itself. Is it right? Hello. Yes. Hello. Sir. Okay. Now, once you have the LCM, then its fundamental period is given by P one into that is you can take this as L into L. That is C one is equal to P one value is how much? That is two by seven into L value is seven. Seven seven get cancels. Fundamental period is two seconds. That is T is equal to 2. This completes the problem. Okay? Yes, sir. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. This completes the second class of signals that is periodic and non periodic. I given the definitions for both discrete and continuous periodic and non periodic signals and I or the how to find the fundamental period of individual signals and how to find the fundamental period of composition of signals. Okay. With this, I'll stop the class now. Okay, thank you. Shall I leave the class now? Thank you, sir. Okay. Yes, sir.